What right is it exactly you want from council that you don't have at the moment? Are there specific rights? Why are you still wearing a mask? Is it the right to have story time for children ages one to six? Is that the right you really, that's the hill you're going to die on? To have sexualised story time with little children? What are you guys fighting for? What rights in council are you lacking? Your sign says drag queens are welcome in. That's fine. Yeah. But why, why are they welcome to, to kids of ages one to six? Are you a rate payer? Rate payer? F no, bro. So what are you doing here? I can tell you what I'm doing here. I'm opposing this sort of thing that is, um, how do I put this? Right-wing propagandists. Avi Mini for Rebel News outside the Monash City Council where hundreds have gathered in protest of an upcoming ratespayer-funded event. We're here to um, let council know that we're not happy about drag story time and drag performers talking to kids. In this case, the story time in question is going to be conducted at Oakley Library on May 19 for kids aged 1 to 6. And on the other side we have a counter-protest of, I guess, Pro drag time stories to children, I'm unsure because at this stage, as they're vastly outnumbered, they're unwilling to speak up. Do you want to tell people why you're countering the protest? Oh. How you doing? Not so bad. Not so bad? Not so bad. Are you here for the protest? Absolutely. Are you with them or with them? Who are them? They uh, support the drag times, the story time. I don't believe it. This is? Is there? It's okay. With me, it's okay. They have kids. I, d I doubt it. Yeah. Why do you think these guys want children one to six to be exposed to sexualized adult material? I think they are confused people. Or, or they have a mentor behind the scene and with an agenda. They can't possibly be bad people. They've got masks on. That is the international sign of a good person. The international sign of being a good person? He's wearing a mask. Excuse me, why are you just wearing one mask and putting us all at risk? Minimum four masks, thank you. I want to report a crime, they're only wearing two masks over there. I taught my kids, we don't do pronouns, you will not compel my speech. Our ancestors died for freedom, you will not... Are they, are they Greek from both sides? Yes. Are, are you... But we're Australian too, Avi. No, no, I love no, no. this country. I wasn't questioning oh, your love. Right. I'm not angry at you, I just, I'm very is, passionate. Are you still married? Like, is it a... My husband's here, right husband. here somewhere. I brought him for protection. Oh, no, I thought, I thought you brought him just as proof that he's still alive. No, no, he's <laughs> alive. My husband loves strong women. I, I can tell he yeah. better. Oh, he yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> if he knows what's good for him. Happy. When I was growing up, I was a tomboy. So if I was growing up in today's day and age, would I still have breasts? Would I be sent to the gender clinic? All good boys. And ladies, sorry, I didn't want to misgender you. That was not on purpose. Some people would argue that this is informed consent. Let the kids hear all sides of the story and let them decide at one to six whether they want to be male, female, or any of the 5,323 genders in between. Yeah, look, I think a, a kid from one to six years old should just be allowed to be a kid. When you're maybe 18 years old, you can be exposed to whatever you like. You're an adult, make your own decisions. Are you guys real cops or just identifying as cops tonight? That the event is in fact designed for old men um, who wear makeup and identify as women. And the question is, why do they want to be around our children so much? Hmm? That's right. The council should only be worried about roads, rates and rubbish. But some people would argue that this is rubbish. And I would be one of those people, and so would all the other hundreds of people here as well. This is absolutely rubbish. So you self-owned? I self-owned myself. This is all rubbish, all of it. How old are you? Seven. So you're way too old for that story time. What is a woman, Avi? Person that tells me what to do. No, <laughs> that's right. No politician can answer that question. Excuse me, ma'am. You're the woman that attacked Posey Parker. How come today you're not as, as brave about your campaigning? 
Is it because you're outnumbered? I'm just going to take a second from the madness to let you know about some new merch we now have at therebelstore.com.au. The definition of a woman, you can wear it proudly to help educate the confused people in our community. And guess what? Rebelstore.com.au, you purchase it, you look good, you're proud, you're educating people, and you're supporting your favourite news network. Rebelstore.com.au, get yours now. Where are the feminists? This is why they got rid of it. They got rid of your rights because look at you. We give you a little bit of power and you get angry. You, <laughs> you know what? I'm angry because I'm being asked to open up domestic violence shelters, rape shelters, toilets, women's change rooms to men, to biological men. That is wrong. It is so wrong. Why do children need to see drag queens? Why do they need to see drag queens? But Avi, a better question is, why do these men in woman face want to have an audience with children? Women are not safe anymore in this state. And I've had it up to here. And I'm not a Nazi. I'm not a transphobe, I'm just a normal mother and I'm not a chest feeder or a birthing parent and I, I've got two sons and I'm raising them to be proper, strong men. So the council meeting is opening now to the public. Now walking up the stairs into the council meeting with the hundreds of rate payers who want their voices heard and some of the counter protesters uh, clearly identifying themselves with their masks. So the small group of protesters are here at the back of the council meeting with signs like trans people have always been here. I don't think that's the argument. Nobody here is claiming trans people have never existed. There's, they've always been around. Everybody belongs, that's fine. Thank you all for your questions regarding the upcoming Drag Storytime event. The Drag Storytime event is scheduled to be held on 19 May to celebrate the International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia and Transphobia by modelling inclusiveness, kindness and acceptance while promoting a love of reading. This is just one of many programs that our libraries and other services run each year, many of which target specific communities. Council will continue to provide a range of events and activities across the year which support and celebrate our LGBTIQA plus community and will continue to implement its LGBTIQA plus action plan. As with all our programs, a review will be undertaken after the event. Council undertakes risk assessments Council undertakes risk assessments for its events and works with appropriate staff and organisations to ensure the safety of those who attend any events, including the upcoming story time. Monash Council is committed to child safety and all events and programs are developed online. for a working with children checks. The books being read are chosen by our qualified and experienced librarians and will celebrate diversity and acceptance and will be age appropriate. Children are never too young to receive such mes messages in a variety of ways. It's common that entertainers... I'm trying to read out the response to the question, but could just have a bit of order, please. It's common that entertainers provide different content based upon their audience and the entertainer will be tailoring their presentation accordingly. Attendance is by choice and council staff and of course the parents of the children will be attending. See you there. So that concludes the public question time this evening. And a handful of the questions were read out by the councillors. The crowd not happy with the answer. The crowd not very happy with your responses. Do you, have, how, do you feel like you adequately answered your rate payers? Are you guys happy with that one? You happy with it? Yeah. Why do you want drag show for one to six years old? Is, is there a reason why the one to six year olds? Is that what you're standing for? Can you please explain why you want drag for one to six years old, please? Why young children? Do any of you have children? Do you guys have children? You look like you might. The rest of you. Aren't you concerned about the kids? But why kids save kids from Nazi groomers? Yeah, like you, mate. I'm, I'm a Nazi groomer. Do you want to expand on that? Uh, no comment. You just <laughs> called me a Nazi. Yeah, I'm a Jew. Fine. Well, it's true. I'm a Jew. He's a yeah, man. Jew, mate. How, how so you na doing? you're calling Jews Nazis because... People can hate themselves, man. 
What is that? And you might understand the PSD. So, so tell me, all right, so besides the fact that you think I'm a Nazi groomer because I'm questioning why, why it's... Don't, mate, get your hands off me. Never for me, Em. Never for me. So I get it that that's the, the hill you all want to die on, but why young kids? Just kids? No. No. So why, why do you think it's your right? Why do you... Can't be a chasing clout like this. Come on, bro. Are you, from a, are you, are you a rate payer? Right, pal? F no, bro. So what are you doing here? I can tell you what I'm doing here. I'm opposing this sort of thing that is, um, how do I put this? Right-wing propagandists. Hey, young guys. The tolerant are acting tolerant as usual. You guys said that you were under attack. I want to understand why you would think drag is appropriate for one to six years old, and then you guys say that, that, you're, that he's a Nazi and that you're under attack? Why do you want this? Why do you want kids? Why do you want... One to six year old exposed to, to drag. Please explain. I mean, aren't you concerned about the welfare of the child? So you, your sign says drag queens are welcome in. That's fine. Yeah. But why why are they welcome to to kids of ages one to six? That's the question. Not whether they're they're welcome in life, but why do you think it's your right? Why are you fighting for that right? Stay away from the children. Do whatever you want in your own freaking bedroom. But leave the children alone. I heard you shouting he's a groomer. Why is that? Because he's in favour of one to six year old kids being read books about being non binary, about having this sexuality, that sexuality. It's not acceptable for a one to six year old kid to hear about that at all. They're reading to our children on the 19th of May. That is disgusting. So the meeting is over, the questions left to the end, unanswered, the crowd not happy, a small group of the trans protesters now leaving. I doubt any of them are locals, certainly not ratepayers, and definitely have no children. Good night guys, and ladies, is that right? I can't tap it now, I don't know. If you enjoyed this report, make sure to like, comment, but most importantly, share it far and wide. Let Victoria, let Australians, let the world know what's happening in this local council. It's a sickness that is spreading everywhere. And then make sure to head over to rebelstore.com.au. Check out the new merch, including the definition of a woman on a t-shirt. That way you can wear it proud, show the world, educate those that are confused, while supporting your favourite news network, rebelstore.com.au.